In this video, I'm going to give you five tips on how you can build better dashboards. All and more coming up right after this. Hi there, and welcome to another video of measureschool.com where we teach you the data-driven way of digital marketing. My name is Julian, and on this video, I'm gonna give you five tips on how you can build better dashboards. This occurred to me when I did the Data Studio tutorial the other day. I was explaining a lot about the feature set of the tool, but really, when you build dashboards, you need to take some things into consideration to build an effective dashboard that actually communicates the right message to your audience. So in this video, I wanna go through some steps that can help you to build better dashboards before you actually implement them into the tool. We've got lots to cover, so let's get started. Number one, know your audience. So before you start building a dashboard, you should be thinking about who is this actually for? The dashboard itself is a distillation of different metrics, different data points into a more confined, simplistic way of presenting data. So if you are building this dashboard for your boss, for a colleague, or just for yourself to explore the data by yourself, then you should be thinking about who is this actually for and is the data that I'm gonna present relevant to this target audience. This will tremendously help you to shift your dashboard in the right direction and transport the right message to the right audience. Number two, get your story straight. Now a dashboard is probably there for communication. You want to inform somebody, you want to convince somebody, or you want to enable them to explore the data by themselves. Now this message that you want to send is an important part of a dashboard and you should be thinking about it beforehand. So what's important when you communicate your message with a dashboard is to stay on point, stick with the story. So you need to have a story that your data actually tells. So think about, for example, when you go into a meeting and go the, through the data with your target audience. What talking points would you have? How would you explain that data? And how would the data um, support your story. There are many different techniques for storytelling and even data storytelling. And there's a great video by Daniel Weisberg, which I'm also gonna link up below here on YouTube that you can watch about data storytelling. But being clear about that data and the story behind it is a great point to make your messaging stand out and communicate it effectively with a dashboard. Number three, get your data and your data sources ready. So in this step, you would actually look around and see what data you want to use for your dashboard. Now there might be in different sources such as a Google Analytics, a Google AdWords, and you might also want to take a look at your tool if the tool connects to all these sources. So for example, Data Studio is quite limited in the connectors that you have right now. What you also want to be thinking about is how you clean and prepare the data so it is useful for your dashboard later on. So are there any data points, any dimensions you need to pull in extra because you want to have interactivity on your dashboard later? So have it filtered or have a date range in there. The data actually, the data structure needs to be in place in order to do all this. So prepare the data and the data sources beforehand so you can start building your visualizations. Which brings us to number four, which is sketching out and visualizing. Now, you, before you start fiddling with the tool, I would actually recommend to get out pen and paper, take your audience, take your message and your story that you want to convey and take the data and sketch them out on pen and paper. How would you arrange your data on a canvas? Which visualizations would you use to actually communicate your data effectively? At this point in time, you can also start looking at other visualizations, at other dashboards, how others have done it. There are great resources, for example, for Data Studio. There's the Data Studio Gallery. There's something similar for Tableau or for Supermetrics or whichever tool you use to do your dashboards and your visualizations with. Get inspired and look for the most effective way to present your data. Now there are many other resources on data visualizations out there, so I'm gonna link up some resources in the description below. And then we get to tip number five, which is getting your tools ready and then implementing your dashboards. Now it's essential that you prepare a little bit before you start building a dashboard, how to actually use a tool. So our tutorial on Data Studio is a great start if you want to work with Data Studio. There are also great resources out there for Tableau or 
we did a tutorial on Google Sheets that let you get started with the whole data visualization part because you don't want to just take your plan and start trying to implement it. You should be able to know which visualizations go where and how you can customize your visualizations to tell again your story. And it's all about being efficient here. So you don't wanna spend too much time fiddling around with the tool, but concentrating on getting your message across with a better dashboard. So I hope you find these tips useful. Just to recap, number one, know your audience. Number two, get your story straight. And then three, prepare your data and your data sources. And then number four, sketch and visualize. And finally, get your tools ready and implement your dashboard. Now I'd love to hear from you. If you have any tips on building better dashboards, please leave them in the comments below. And as always, if you like this video, please share it with a friend or a colleague. Give us a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button so you will get new videos every Wednesday from us. My name is Julian, till next time.